Hey guys, so one thing I promised you I would do um, today is make this 4x3 game. Um, now one thing I realized, okay, first of all, I suck at making it. Um, basically all I know about it is sort of how to make it. And that's really about it. Um, the other thing is I have to make it going... Minecraft directions are weird, but north-south, I believe. Um, of course, the sun sets at the top of the map and goes down at the bottom, so it doesn't make complete sense. But um, So I actually have to make it over here, I guess, um, if I want it to actually work. And I don't know why it's like that. Um, it just kind of is. But I figure, okay, if I come out to about uh, here or so, and come out to about here, let's say, and build it about here. -ish. Um, the other thing is, I honestly am not 100% certain how I make this gate. I'm I understand sort of, um, and I you know, like I can build it if I like watch the video. Um, by the way, I'm basically just copying the four x four gate, except it's only one sided. So uh, yeah, so that's kind of uh, what I'm gonna do. And um, as I said, since I'm not very good at this, I probably will not finish it on video um it's not that and that's just because if i tried to finish it on video you just watch me fail epically and it's not that fun to watch if you ask me um and the other reason is i can't physically do it on video completely because honestly i don't know how to do it as I, as I was saying, so what I'll do is I'll probably pause part way through. I've said this stuff a lot, I swear. Um, and uh, kind of do it, you know, off video kind of, as I watch a video, basically, is what it comes down to. Um, and that way, let me rearrange my inventory a bit here. Save the map. Um, need those. What do you want? I need to do. Oh, text message. Um, okay. People don't normally text me. <laughs> so sad. Anyway, um, <clears throat> oh, I need to lay out the pistons first. Let's see, I think it's f four. Um, so it's something like that. And. So basically, yeah, I will do, why do I say basically so much? I just noticed that. Anyway, um, I'm going to do it primarily off video just because I honestly could not do this by myself because I am not that skilled. Okay, um, now I do sort of have a basic understanding of what's sort of happening here. See, because when that extends, okay, yeah. So that there. Let me delete those pistons in a second. Okay. So with a 4x4 four four gate, obviously the, the challenge is you have these two that are in the middle that you somehow have to uh, move, and, and that's obviously quite difficult. And that's basically why most people don't try to build a 4x4 four four gate. Um, I'm going to do it mainly because I, I really I, I really think it looks good. And uh, I think overall it's just a big enough improvement that it's worthwhile to build. Okay, so actually, I think that is in the right position, amazingly. Um... And da, 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 da. So down here, this is going to be the uh, input, so I need a button. That's like the one thing I'm really good at building, because it's really simple to build. And so my understanding is what it's called is a pulse limiter, if you guys know what that is. 
congratulations. Um, if you don't, then basically what it does is it li pretty much literally um, limits the uh, pulse of a button. See, a, a button kind of has a long push, relatively speaking, compared to what you, what in this case is needed. Looks like we're going to actually need more room because I haven't even put in this side yet. See, because this goes up, up, and oops, over, over. Oh, wait. Not like that. I think it's there. Because it pushes, yeah. It's, it's so hard working with pistons this way because you're like, you always have to think, you know, okay, where is it pushing to rather than where is it physically? At least I find it hard. I think that's right in terms of piston placement. Let me just finish this down here. Okay, so what the pulse limiter does fairly simply is it takes the pulse of the button and cuts it so short that a... Uh, That that, I have to re sculpt the landscape a bit, will just stay out. So, for example, see, just like that, it's perfect. It's the only thing I'm really good at building in this. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a lot of re sculpting the landscape in this uh, episode to finish it. Now, since that's pretty much the only thing I'm actually good at building. Um, I pro think I'm going to go and pause the video, um, and kind of, I'll show it sort of step by step as I go along. Um, that's the end of, I think that's the end of the red. Um, so I got to work with the blue now. And yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to pause until I finish, uh, the blue circuit. And then I will show you that. And then I will do the green circuit and then finish it off. The pink circuit's really easy, which is the last circuit you do. Um, but yeah, so I will pause for a bit. Okay, so I've done some work. Ah, lag. Okay, um, so I've done some work here. As you can see, this is the end of the uh, blue section. Sorry, it's really laggy right now. I actually have another thing in Minecraft open at the same time, which has the one I've done before of this. Um, I've done this before, it's just I've followed videos, and so now I'm just kind of going through it step by step. Um, so what the blue line does it's effectively, so here, we'll do that. And as, as you can see, so it looks kind of confusing now, it doesn't look like it's doing much, but it does push that one down, and that one as well. I think that should happen. Um, why do I have two there? Anyway, uh, so yeah, um, this is actually going fairly well, and we'll hopefully soon be done. So uh, I'm going to do the green one now. Um, oh, and I had to add something to the red here. So I added uh, this to the red, which isn't part of the pulse limiter, but it's, uh, it it's necessary for what this does. So um, yeah. And then, uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and do green, 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 that stuff. And uh, I know some of this, but um, once again, I don't know most of it, so I'm going to pause until this is done. Once I finish green, it should function normally, um, and then it's just really simple finishing it off. So um, I'm going to pause again, and I will unpause hopefully soon. Okay, so I'm starting to run fairly short on time here, but um, I managed to get it to work. Um, here, let me replace it with iron so you can see it working. Um, so I had a few problems. First of all, uh, I built the entire thing one too high off the ground, and so I lowered all the pistons by one um, out of my convenience sake because uh, I'm way too lazy to lift the entire the rest of the stuff up by one. Because all that stuff's redstone, which is just a pain to move. Okay, um, and then the other things, I made a lot of mistakes on the green. Um, this down here was supposed to be full delay. Uh, yeah, so I, th I think overall it went pretty well. Uh, 
yeah, it was probably pretty loud for you guys. I'm sorry. Um, so it was a while for me. Um, probably wasn't too long for you guys. As you can see, those four fill it in now, and the rest of the pistons are really easy to do. Um, you know, just you just have to do them. And as you can see, it pulls right in. Perfect. Um, so let's go ahead and fill all this stuff in. The weirdest part about this one is... I haven't really figured out because obviously I'll show you guys in a bit. Um, I guess as soon as I finish dealing with the pink. Okay, so for the pink, um, so I need it. I probably won't even do pink. Uh, there's another block type. Let's just let's just pull those out. I'm just really happy it's working. Oh, look at that. I hate dealing with it. It's such a pain to use. This wall is going to have to come out a bit. It's going to be a really big gate just into this cave. The other end of the cave, by the way, is going to be sealed off and this cave can go up. And I've been working on the vault designs as well a lot. So those will be on their way. Um, okay, so I need, need to get this torch on. And I need up here and down here. What's the easy way to do this? I think the easy way. See, I need across there. I need that, that, that. And then for up here just run it across. Now I have done it before where I like just run it up from there. But that makes all kinds of weird things because these, bleh. anyway, um, those turn on and off quite a bit during the uh, opening and closing process. So it's not that beneficial. So okay, right now it's open. So that needs to be off. Okay. Uh, and that there. It's amazing how much you learn. I mean, even though I have no clue basically what happens here, other than the fact that a bunch of stuff turns on and off and it opens correctly, um, I honestly don't know what goes on. Um, I probably will just carry this up and see. but I do through doing this the amount of times I have. I have gained quite a bit of understanding of redstone. Um, actually, something I've never tried doing before. See, that's on. Ah, oh, it's too close. I hate when this happens. Okay, um, so I'll just run that around like that. So that will go there, there, there. That closes it. I have curiosity. Oh. Curiosity killed the cat, I know. Um, hey, it works. Laggy. You know what? I can actually close this other set of Minecraft. Because everything else here is really easy for me to do. Um, everything else I just really understand. It's, I mean, it's not... None of this stuff is terribly difficult. Okay, so that needs to actually be... On. So actually, I'm going to place that with that, and uh, um, uh, like that, just like that. So now that's all closed, except down here, because I forgot that area. And this is going to going to run this high, and then bring it down. See, I mean, that last section, as you can, t as you can tell, it was really easy to do. Now, this is the problem when the door is closed and all this is blocked in, um, like that. And it, you can tell that there's kind of those over there. I haven't really decided how I'm going to fix that. Um, I, I feel like I need to. And the only easy way is to basically pull it away while the door is closed and um, 
push it back when the door is open. Because when the door is open, I'm going to move the button too, by the way. I'm just leaving it there for now. Oh, it works. When the door is open, you want to kind of walk through and it's completely surrounded by iron, so it looks right. Um, so, yeah. And, yeah, so this gate is actually, believe it or not, finished. Um, took me a long time. Didn't take too long this episode. But um, I'm really happy it is. Now I just have to uh, kind of extend it out. Um, kind of make the pathway, kind of connect it to the pathways correctly. Because um, there's going to be like a pathway coming down into here. And all kinds of cool stuff going on. And my dog's barking again. Fantastic. Means probably somebody's home. And I actually probably should get going soon. But yeah, um, so I, I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, there's going to be kind of a solid wall along here, I guess. And yeah, so I'll, I'll have to finish doing some of the building here. But um, yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow with a chunk episode, as somebody calls my name. <laughs>